Hello everybody, it's Alicia and it's time for a How Do I video. The purpose of this series is for me to tell you how I do something in Second Life and you can take the tips from it and go out and be better than me. Because that's what we're doing here. We just want to be better than me and we all know that I don't Second Life right, so here we go. Um, today we're going to talk about how to get uh, people to blog for in Second Life. Maybe you're a new blogger and you're wondering, you know, how do I get to blog for people or for events? Or you're an older blogger who's having a little bit of trouble finding people who, um, and that you can blog for. I don't use the term sponsors. Ugh, I find that so gross in Second Life blogging to call them sponsors. I don't call them sponsors because they don't give me cash. They're just giving me stuff and I'm blogging their stuff so that they can make money. Um, I just, uh, I just find that the word sponsor, like when people start talking about their sponsors, it's almost always like, oh my god, my sponsors are so mad at me because I didn't blog like twice daily for a week. Ugh. I'm sorry, but if you have like somebody that you blog for and they're all angry because you didn't blog one day, find somebody new because that person's nuts. This just, ugh. And oh my god, please, please never publicly say, I'm accepting sponsors. No, no, no. You are not accepting sponsors. It's so gross to say that as a blogger. Like, just because you say, I'm accepting sponsors, doesn't mean that anybody's going to give you anything. And I really kind of have to wonder about the quality of the stores who would actually contact somebody who has that and their Flickr name or something. Ugh, it's so gross. Okay, snarky time over, sorry. So you guys are getting to know my personality a little bit and I'm afraid that I am kind of snarky sometimes. I, yeah, let's roll with it. <laughs> okay, so I blog for some amazing people and I blog for some great events. Um, a lot of that has to do with just the fact that I've been doing it for so long. Um, also, I'm very grateful. And I think you have to be, you have to have an air of grateful about you when you sign up for this. Go into these applications and everything knowing that you can be rejected at any moment. Um, and that nobody owes you anything. Like, none of these designers owe you anything at all. They don't have to have bloggers if they don't really want to. Um, they choose to. And there are designers out there who choose not to have bloggers whatsoever. They just do their own ads and put them on Flickr and call it a day. And that is, I mean, that is totally their prerogative. You are owed nothing as a blogger. But as we all know, blogging is a pretty expensive hobby, especially in the beginning. Um, and that's why a lot of people start blogging as a way to say, well, yes, I might have spent 5,000 linden at this event, but I'm blogging it, so it's okay. But we're very grateful to the designers who allow us to blog for them. So always be grateful for whatever it is that they are willing to give you. Okay, so how do we find people to blog for? Well, one way you can do it is uh, Flickr. Follow the designers on Flickr. Um, any designer you like usually has a Flickr account, especially these days. Follow them and a lot of the times they will have a, a they'll put up a picture and say, hey, looking for bloggers. And then you can follow the directions on uh, how to apply to be their blogger. Um, also, if there is a designer that you like, and maybe they're a smaller designer or a newer designer or something like that, check profiles. Check the profiles of these designers to see if they are, one, accepting bloggers, two, how you would go about applying, and three, if you would give the note card or I am to the designer or if they have a blogger manager. 
read profiles very, very, very carefully when you are attempting to contact people. Don't just start dropping note cards on like 20,000 designers in Second Life because that is almost a surefire way to never get to blog for anybody. You know, you always want to be polite and professional when you're applying and you want to not annoy anybody. <laughs> I think that's kind of like the biggest thing is just don't be annoying. Um, you know, and just because you apply doesn't mean that you're going to be selected. I have applied to like hundreds of things and never heard a word back. I think a lot of us have applied for many, many events and we've been rejected. And, but you just go and you update your skills, you work on your photos, you shop the events or you shop the stores, and you just keep plugging away at it until eventually you get what you want. And even if you never get what you want, well, hey, you know, you've learned new things, right? Right. Okay, uh, another way to find out who is accepting blogger applications is, hang on, let's go here, to the SL Blogger Support website. And this is a great, great, great website for, um, for bloggers in Second Life to check out. They do a lot of different um, support articles and stuff. We've got a lot of you can see Caitlin is talking about feeds and Flickr, and uh, there's a poll, and you get a lot of tips and all that sort of stuff. Um, but you go over here to Blogger Resources, and you can see you can find designers looking, and this is updated uh, pretty often. And then you can see all these people looking for bloggers. So once you see a store that you like you will click on the application or see how to do it like this one has an application you can go to this one is always accepting and you just do an in-world note card um, if you do an in-world note card be sure to put a few things on there one put your name in the title of the note card uh, put you know blogger application uh, Sally blogger um, in there Inside the note card, put the blog URL, uh, put your Flickr link, put another social media, like if you use Facebook or Plurk or whatever, um, and put your name again, and thank them. Thank them for taking the time to look at your application. That's a big thing. But let's go here to Evolve. And uh, you can apply here until October 14th. So we'll see what their application is like. Now, this application has requirements. Please read all the requirements and make sure that you fit the bill. Now, you have to, for this one, have been a blogger for six months. This is, a, you will find that a lot of people want at least three to six months blogger experience before you can apply. A lot of bloggers start out with good intentions and after a month just poop out. They just, you know, they're just gone. Uh, real life gets in the way. It became more work than they thought that they could do. Um, it became very expensive, you know, so so many poop out after a month, after two months you know so this is just so that the designer doesn't give you something and then next week you're gone you know they just it's just it is what it is so three to six months is usually minimum so keep that in mind when you're applying for things but some will take a chance on a newer blogger okay uh, good quality of photos okay Flickr account at least three feeds all right not that people are really looking at feeds that much anymore, but that's okay, whatever they want. Um, you have to have blogged them in the past. That's very important. Um, I personally don't like to apply to stores where I've never blogged anything of them before. I will do it on occasion if I think that the store is really exceptional and it, maybe it just came to my attention, or if they're a newer store or something like that that maybe I hadn't heard of before. 
Um, but mostly I don't like to apply unless I have blogged them before in the past. And this one actually specifies. And you have to have a mesh body. Okay, these are all pretty good requirements. Um, I would I would qualify except that I've never blogged them before. I don't know this store at all. So <laughs> I, actually I may have to check out the store and see what they are. Um, so then just standard questions, name, URL, how old are you? Because nobody wants like a super, super newbie blogger because we don't know you. Uh, your blog start date, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one, actually. Do you describe posts? Um, some designers really do want you to write something. I write something in like 90% of my blogs. I don't really like doing just a picture and credits, even though I know it's easier. I, I know. But I usually like to write a little something, and that has gotten me into a lot of blogger groups before. So keep in mind, you know, depending on what kind of blogger you want to be, writing something may be beneficial for you. Uh, have you posted in the past? Do an answer. And do you have any of these mesh bodies? So that's pretty good. Um, let's check out another one. Let's we'll check out one more. Let's go down here to... Um, We'll go to poses. So, do anyone need poses? We'll go to Nimmles, because I like her, and she's pretty cool. And she has a an application here for her store as Songbird. Um, read everything carefully. I must blog at least one item from the blogger packs given within a reasonable amount of time for some months. So that's pretty, that's pretty generous because some people are like oh my god if you don't like blog everything then you suck and you're out Ugh, that's gross I uh, must have a blog for at least six months and be an active blogger this does not mean you have one post for each month up to six months you need to be a consistent blogger that is I feel like that's common sense you know don't oh, don't just be like but I have a blog and you haven't posted in three months. Like, just <laughs> don't do it. Uh, must have decent graphics and blogging skills. This means your photos must be of relatively good quality, not jaggy, high graphics. Again, common sense. Nobody's gonna get you if you're looking crazy. Um, add your post to the Flickr group. Very normal, totally cool. Must link back to store and events product items. Must link back your blog with Songbird, logo or link, and um, at the end of the month, send in a note card with your monthly blog posts. I wouldn't do it again because lazy. And so if you if you like all that, then you just go down here and start filling out things. And I suggest that you do because she does some really cute stuff. But. Uh, so that is stores, and there's also one down here for events, and you can see that all these events are pretty cool, and um, you can apply for, for those. And once you apply, it's really just a waiting game after that. Either they'll pick you or they won't. If they pick you, be grateful, thank them. Uh, be polite. Manners go a long way. If they don't pick you, just shop. Blog the event anyway. Blog the store anyway. And maybe next time the blogger applications open, you will be selected. But if you have any other questions, please leave me a comment and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And maybe some of my other bloggers will come in here and they can answer any questions too or leave their own tips. But that is it for me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Or if you just want to give me a thumbs up anyway, <laughs> yay. Uh, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.